Hello, my name is Kirill, I'm an Avolista business representative and today I would like to show you a short video guide on how to use Volista business product. So after the successful registration and uh, sign-in, you'll be redirected to the main dashboard page when on the right side you can see your accounts that you brought here just for your convenience and you can see there is like uh, information about number of the cards, available balance on it and etc. On the left side we have our control panel where you can see your company name and management tools below. So to begin with, the first thing you need to do is to top up your funds on platform. How to do it? On the left top corner you will see available amount and under it there is a top up button. If you'll click on it, you'll be redirected to the top up page where you need to enter the amount that you would like to add. For example, it will be thousand pounds or euros or US dollars. Right now I have only euros, but nevertheless. So we'll create the invoice that you need to use with the following credentials to make a bank transfer. If needed, you also can generate a PDF file, download it and send it to your accountant. After successful bank transfer, we will go to the accounts tab to create sub account for the expenses. So as you can see right here, we have main account and the sub accounts here below. Here we also have information about how many cards are issued to this account, available balance, bank balance, limits and the status of account. Uh, if we'll click on the limits, you will have option to set up daily and monthly limit for the peers, purchases, withdrawal, internet and contactless payment. So how to do it? Just click on this pen and put the amount you need to look. So regarding the sub accounts, here's the same information, but you have more control on it. And right now we will create a test account just for you. So we'll click on this blue button, create account. The system will request us to create a name for this account and for example we'll put it as like Instagram ads and we'll put today's date, this will be 0601. Okay, so we'll create the account. A thread will be redirected directly to the account page and what we see here, the manage tools, uh, you can top up money to this account directly via the bank transfer, make a payment from this main account or the sub account, create the card for this account or just close this account. Below this we have details, so you have options to rename this account. Uh, you can see the amount of the cards issued, balance and as well limits and the status. And on the bottom there is a statement where you can control and track all the expenses by this account. So next thing we will do, we will create a card, we will create the card just for this account. So. Here it is, on the new landing page we have information about account that will be used, nickname of the card and the type of the card. So as you know, we have a physical and a visual card. We just go quick regarding the physical card. All you need to do is to put the name on the card. It can be the company name or the employee name. Create a custom PIN code for this, choose delivery address and choose delivery options. Uh, there was like two of them. There's like five and 20 euro fees for the delivery. So. Uh, no, right now we also create the virtual card, there is like less options to do it, you just need to create the card nickname, for example it will be my card, I will enter my phone number and I will also create the 3DS password for the online buying purchasing confirmation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. we'll create a simple password just in case. So yep, the card is created, just a few clicks to create the account sub account and create the card. After that we'll be landed to the card details page. As we can see there is also limits. This limits just for this card. Also daily, monthly, internet contacts and peers purchases. Details of the card. Sensitive data of the card. And also you have action buttons. So you can freeze the card if needed and unfreeze as well. So like it will take less than a minute. You have option to add card user. It might be your employee or your own, uh, change 3DS password or just close this card. We will go next to the transaction page, there will be all transactions that have been made through this card. You also can choose the time gap, what you would like to track and etc. So going next to the card users, as you saw previously on card details page, you can add card user. Here you will have the list of the all users that have access to this card, as well you can add them. So we'll create one user, I will use my phone number, and right now you see that my name, my surname, my phone number, my email been used to invite me to using these cards. So in a few minutes I will receive the SMS to use it via the Wallstop app. So going next we'll go to the cards 
there is like total number of cards can be issued by your account. You have a full list, full view of them. Everything will be here, such as a card type, as a physical issue, expiry date, card nickname, name on the card. It's just for the physical cards and account that's been dedicated to, as well as a status. So moving next to the payments, payments tab. Uh, as you know, you have option to transfer money between your main account and the sub account as well. You can do it between the sub account to the sub account, sub account to the main account. So the simple, you will choose, for example, my main account and we will send money to the, for example, sub account. You see there is available amount right now. You just choose, for example, 100 euros and we'll put the transaction details. As you can see, Loom account, I can have a subscription, a subs account. Okay, it will put it as a subscription for the loom. Okay, the money been sent, few clicks, and it is done. So, moving next, there is a statement. Here you can choose the account you would like, the time gap, the period, where you would like to track the all uh, payouts, payments, and transactions between someone. So, here is it. You can see there's all transactions for the few days, like from the 2nd of January, as you can see, there was like total amount of about 45,000 euros. So yeah, everything can be tracked here as well. You can generate the PDF format or Excel format table just for your account. And what we have here as well, there is an API. If you have your own system or your own website, you can create API key that can be integrated into your website or the system. So there is like API documentation that will uh, lend us to the uh, website where there will be the all instructions guide and manuals how to set up it yeah all you need to do here is just to click on create api key and follow the instruction next so we'll finish with our control panel uh, there is also a flight program tab uh, that means that you can uh, invite your friends colleagues that might be interested in the wall estate business solution yeah and if you'll scroll down you will have a window the contact support there is an email and a phone number that can be used to contact the support if you have any questions or you're interested in what's the business solution. And the last thing, but not least, we'll go to the company and your profile. As you can see, you can go to your profile and the company profile. We'll take a look in the company profile because there is more interested information. So in the company profile, in details, you can see the company information, corporate documents that you uploaded and the agreement that you need to sign up after the registration and here you can go to check everything regarding the agreements and terms with the Wallerstone. Uh, next up is responsible for the users. So right now we see the list of the user who is connected to this uh, platform. Yeah, everyone have full access to it. Uh, next thing is board members shareholders. There's also information about board member who is responsible for the company. Uh, if we go to the limits, as you can see, we brought this button uh, to the control panel. So here you'll have all overview regarding all uh, limits that you can set up uh, and change everywhere you want. So there is like daily, monthly uh, restrictions, limits for the withdrawal, purchases online, contactless internet payments, uh, credit card. This also been watched. So we, you have options to create the new card. Yeah, right now this is possible to create a virtual and physical card and coming soon there will be also the salary card. So we'll close this window and we will finish with the pricing plan. So in the pricing landing page, you will see your current pricing plan. For us it's a platinum, it costs like 9.99 per month with the uh, option to uh, issue up to the 15,000 virtual cards. There's information regarding the cards, so we can see that total, we have 77 total virtual cards issued, 40 of them is being used right now, 37 being blocked. If we scroll down, we have uh, our pricing plans. So what we have, this platinum that we use right now, premium and the free package. As well, if you have a special request, we can go to the enterprise suit case, so the price will be different and the option decision may be just for you. So regarding the premium and the free, the price is different. Free is for free, but you have some restrictions like you have option to uh, issue up to 300 visual cards and the fee for the extra card will be higher than on Platinum or the premium plan. So I guess we are done today. I hope you like this video and I wish that you will be our future client. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, support Contact the support team or our sales manager. Thank you once again. Bye-bye for now.